Greetings to you viewers and welcome to Writing Theatre channel. I am your host, Dr. Dili Omo Juyibe. Have you noticed that elementary books in African local languages, African languages, are disappearing? If you haven't noticed, check, you will find out that books in local languages in Africa are disappearing. We bring up children morally in our local languages. The moment they don't have access to books in local languages, the moment we are discouraging children from accessing books written in their local languages, we are depriving them of the values embedded in African culture. I have said it before that our local languages are not inferior to other languages anywhere. Local languages have spiritual connotation. In the southwest part of Nigeria, many years ago, children were raised, pupils were raised in schools, in local languages. They were taught in local languages. Even English was taught in Yoruba. You use Yoruba to teach English. In Southwest Nigeria, in the past, So children began very early to understand the culture of their people. The mother tongue has a very strong bond between the owners and the users. And it is everywhere. In southwest Nigeria, for example, there was a Wurani, a small book published, I think, by Onibonje Press in Ibadan. Then there was this um, Taiwa Tikendi. Read in primaries one and two in, in the primary school containing values. The book, I believe, I think, was written by D.O. Fagunwa for school children. There you learn about all manner of morals. Taiwo um, Bale, Kendi Bale. Taiwo Boju, Kendi Boju. Taiwo Do Baleki Babare. Kendi Kuleki Yare. Teaching about the values of the Yoruba culture. And then there was this Alawiye by JF Odunjo. Where Children came about many poems. Omo atata, kakakin begba obu. T 
teaching about the good child. Kineo for leche. What will I do with stealing? Ishelo gunche. There is dignity in labor. Um. Toju iware. Toju iware oremi. Uh, Ola ma shilo ni le ni. E wasi ma shila ra ni. Ulo wo ni ndolo shi budola. And so on. Teaching children how to behave in society. Talking about character values. When we know how to speak our mother tongue. When children know how to speak their mother tongue and they have access to books in their mother tongue, then you build in them the power of discrimination for the assessment of values when they grow up. They understand life. It is not just about Nigeria, it's about Africa generally. Ungugiwa Thiongo, a Kenyan, and a professor emeritus of English, wrote Kaisani Musarabani, a novel in Kikuyu language in 1981. It was later that that novel was translated into English. Are now titled, I think, uh, Rivers on the Cross or something. Oh, Devils, Devil on the Cross. Devil on the Cross. There was the belief that there was no way he could write what he wanted to write in English. Because there is usually that connection, spiritual connection between a man and his mother tongue. The same thing. We are losing it in Africa because we are not projecting our culture anymore. We are not teaching our children our mother tongue. We are forcing them to imbibe the culture. Foreign culture that you find in foreign books. And it's so disappointing, it's an irony, that even in Africa now, Europeans are writing our history for us. They are, write, they are rewriting his, they are write, they are rewriting our story for us. We are loosening. And that is the reason African languages are disappearing. They hope is that that time will not come that all these languages in Africa will be extinct. We need to encourage our children to read and write in our languages, local languages. No matter how well we speak a foreign language, it is always our own second language. It is their first even if we are as proficient as they are in the language, as so long as it is our second language, that spiritual connection that they have with the language, we don't have it. When you are bothered, when you want to pray to your creator, and you are so, you are so, you are so, you are, you are deep in thought. Your belief is that there is no other language that can capture your mind better than your dialect. And so you speak to your creator in your dialect. That tells you the spiritual connection between your language, your dialect, and you. I want to encourage us to
to encourage their children to read and write in their local languages. It will help them when they grow. They will remember those poems. I still remember all those poems that I had contact with when I was growing up as a child. All those chief J.F. Odunjo's poems. Oma Tata. Kini Wofu Neshe. Beje Kini. Um, Iwalo Iwale Waomeni, and so on. Please let's try and look at these areas that I've pointed out today. I believe the areas will help us. We help us grow and we help our children in the future. Thank you so much for listening to me. Please, you can share this video. I also encourage you to subscribe to this channel. And until I come your way again next time, I say bye for now.